Uh, it has the name Atlanta Bread Company, but the location in Warner Robins is locally owned and priding itself on being there for the locals. It's this week's Restaurant Report Card. Without the customers and without our guests, we wouldn't be here. Owner Eva Ehrlich couldn't say goodbye to the customers back in 2008 when her business partners left her and her husband to be the solo owners of the Atlanta Bread Company in Warner Robins. We know all of our regulars by their first name. We know and we welcome all of the newcomers like family. We've got clubs that come and meet here. We've got knitting groups and uh, book clubs and it's just that people come in and just relax. We're just a relaxed atmosphere. Eva has been a part of Atlanta Bread Company since the early 2000s and right by her side for much of that time is manager Lisa Usher, a top of the line cook and people person. Public service, that's the person that you have to be. You know, you have to love people, and this community is incredible. Well, there's a lot of food and deals you can be a part of here. Come for breakfast, get a loaf of bread, or grab lunch or dinner. The food is excellent. Not only do I work in Atlanta Bread Company, I'm also a customer of Atlanta <laughs> Bread Company. And it's funny because when we're away, even my children, the first thing they'll say to me is, you know, turkey club, please, turkey club panini, mom, bring them home. Okay, guys, it is eating time here at Atlanta Bread Company in Warner Robins. Crowded place for lunch, crowded place for lunch. I've got one of the most popular things on the menu, the turkey club panini. This thing is jam-packed with flavor, a lot of stuff in here. Let's take a bite and see how it is. Oh yeah. Oh man, that panini is so satisfying. And even more so, the perfect health inspection score hanging up in the window. You know, we have checklists, we have tools, we have we have certain propaganda we have to go through every day. So they do a great job and I, I count on them and they always come through for me. Atlanta Bread Company in Warner Robins is making the grade this week, but before we go, let's take a look at your other scores this week. Three Countries Restaurant on Spring Street, 90. Carabas on River Place Drive, 81. Cookout on Tom Hill Senior Boulevard, 94. The Green Blade on Martin Luther King Boulevard, 95. Longhorn on Watson Boulevard, 83. Margaritas on Watson Boulevard, 99. The KFC on Veterans Boulevard, 93. The Shrimp Boat on South Elbert Street in Milledgeville, 96. And here is a restaurant that needs to step it up this week. SNS Cafeteria on Eisenhower Parkway in Macon scored a 73. There were about seven foods being held at the wrong temperature, and there were pots and pans that were stacked as clean that had food debris on them. Those are your scores this week. Until next time, this has been 41 NBC's Restaurant Report Call. Yeah, those big old paninis, they'll fill you up all right. Some good eating right there. For all your health inspection scores, head to our website, 41NBC.com. I'm not the only one that got to indulge in that food there at Atlanta Bread Company. They hooked me up with about a dozen cookies to bring back that all my coworkers devoured in five minutes. One of those.